Okay, so we're just going to take a little look at a, a really common combination used a lot by George St. Pierre. Okay, it tends to be the first combination you think of when you think St. Pierre. What we're going to use is starting off with an inside leg kick, we're going to use that just to feint to set up the punch, to set up the jab. Most people call it Superman jab. So I'm using that feint of the kick to throw the jab and then coming across to the outside kick. Okay, so Superman jab to outside kick. So again, normally setting up, you want to throw a few kicks first just to get getting used to that kick coming in and then feint, jump in with the kick and come across. Okay, and then probably the most important point is getting the angle off the kick. In fact, I'll do it just on a, a better angle this way. So as I feinted the kick, throw the jab from this position, I want to make sure I'm getting an angle with this foot to step across. So I'm not throwing everything just on the spot, straight in front of him. I want to use that to cut across, get the angle. I can get a stronger kick and I can come off on a better angle as well. Okay, so I'll feint the kick, jab, and kick outside. Okay. One drill that you can do to get used to it, so a lot of people struggle with that first bit. They struggle with the jump and end up kind of stuttering a little bit to, to get in. So I want to, just for the drill, I can start on one foot. So left foot in the air, I'm going to jump, kick that foot back as I hop on my right foot. So you can get used to just that movement on its own, put the foot forward, hop across and just get used to going forward. And then once I'm used to that, I can do the same thing with the punch. Okay, obviously keeping the other hand up, punch and then stepping across. Or you can do it a few times just going across that way. One, foot forward. And then getting used to cutting the angle across, paint the kick, jump in, cut the angle, and kick. So I'll do a few with just slightly different angle. So paint the kick, jump in, cut across. You can see how I'm moving out on there, not on the straight line. I'll do one with Chris's back directly to the camera. So you can see the angle I come out on. So I'll paint the kick, jab, which you can't see. I cut all the way across on this angle to come out to the side. Okay. So again, we'll do a few kicks first and tapping that inside kick, few jab, tap the inside kick, and fake the kick, punch, and angle. I'm not impressed by your performance.